Okay, so me and three of my friends are out at dinner, right? We're just chilling. And we all parked at this random, like, parking lot. It used to be a, uh, it used to be like a Dollar Tree or something like that. One of those type of stores. So it's all by itself. They closed down a couple years ago, so now it's just an abandoned parking lot. And sometimes we'll, like, meet there. If we're all going somewhere, like to a restaurant or something, we'll all meet there and we'll just ride together because, well, riding with your friends is super fun for literally no reason. But, so we all meet there, except for me. One of my friends picked me up because he told me last second we're going to dinner. I was like, all right. So I hop in his car. We go to go to the parking lot. We pick everybody up. We drive over to the restaurant. We eat. And we're leaving. And the McDonald's is across the street. And I'm pretty fat. So I was like, hey, can we run to McDonald's real quick and get some ice cream? Everyone's making fun of me for being fat. But guess what? We went to McDonald's and I got my ice cream. So we go to McDonald's. We get the ice cream. And we're just talking in the uh, McDonald's parking lot. And I slammed this ice cream. It was a McFlurry, super good. And the more we talk, the more I'm realizing my stomach hurts, like, bad. And I don't want to go to McDonald's because it's kind of late. And there's a dude cleaning the bathroom. So I was like, eh, I'll be home in 10 minutes. It's so whatever, right? I had to pee. So I'm just chilling. And I'm talking in the parking lot. And the more I talk, like, the longer we're out there, the more my stomach hurts. And the more I really have to pee. So I'm just, it's, like, killing me. So we get in the car. And we drive back to that parking lot so everyone can get in their cars and we can leave. And so we get to the parking lot and we're just talking in that parking lot. My stomach is killing me. Like, it's bad, bad. I have to pee super bad. So I run over to the bushes and start peeing, right? But I'm not looking to my right. I'm looking to my left because my friend is on FaceTime with his cousin. And he keeps pointing the phone at me. I'm not really trying to flash the uh, FaceTime, right? So I'm staring over to my left. I look over to my right. I don't know who put it there. I don't know why they put it there. But there's just this random cross. So I'm peeing right next to a cross, which, I, like, that's def- you're not, definitely not supposed to do that. So now I feel bad. I'm like, oh, I'm definitely going to hell now. So it's whatever. I get in the car because, like, we're all going to leave. I live, like, five minutes away from the stupid parking lot. My stu- Like, my stomach went from hurting super bad to, like, I'm going into labor, basically. It hurts so bad. So I'm just sitting there in the front seat crying. Listen, we're listening to Spotify. My friend doesn't have premium, so we're getting ad. We got like 17 ads in a row. It was terrible. So we get ad after ad after ad, and we're driving down the road to like my house. Like you turn, it's whatever. It's some random side road. I don't know why my friend took it. It takes like five minutes extra, but it's whatever. And it's a two lane road, and there's like 50,000 construction cars on our left, so we can't like go around this car. And the car in front of us is going, the speed limit's 60, they're going 30. So I'm, like, dying in the side of the car, like, the passenger seat. My friend can't do anything. And so we're just stuck behind this little lady. I reach over. I start honking at this old lady because she's, like, 4,000 years old. I don't know why she's driving. I don't know why she's driving so slow either. So I'm just dying in the side. wishing. I'm, like, so I'm thinking my stomach was hurting bad. But because I peed next to that cross, my stomach definitely hurts worse because of that. Don't ask me that logic there. So I'm just sitting there, like, crying. And we finally get around this lady. We finally get to my house. I go to open my door. The front door's locked. And I don't have my car keys or any keys because my friend picked me up. So I start calling my brother. I'm like, please be awake. Please be awake. The phone rings about four times. Doesn't answer. I call him again. Doesn't answer. I'm like about to cry. I call him again. He answers. He's like, hello? I'm like, hey, can you come open the front door? He's like, you're not in your room? I was like, no, I left like four hours ago. Dude runs in, opens the door for me. I go in the bathroom, just start throwing up everywhere. It was a terrible night. That's pretty much it.